subscribe to our channel by clicking the subscribe button click the bell button and enjoy the latest uploads from our channel this is the best phone in the world and i agree to some extent but not in all areas so let's begin by talking about the key specs i want to get this out of the way really quickly here again just a refresh 6.2 inch 1440 by it's a 2960 panel and this is oled super amoled so very vibrant colors very sharp display as a matter of fact it's got one of the highest pixels per inch on any smartphone to date so this phone is just got a super high pixels per inch super great color contrast and overall it's just a stellar display and it's not as oversaturated as some of the older samsung's it's got a 12 megapixel dual camera on the rear it can shoot 4k it can do 960 slow-mo it is crazy it can do 4k 60 frames per second so this camera does a lot and most of all it can it has a variable aperture so it changes apertures in different lightings to get great low light six gigs of ram and an exynos 9810 if you are in other region this one is the snapdragon 845 if you are in the us at a 3500 milliamp sealed in battery so a pretty sizable battery here so those are the key specs and yes they're monster specs they've been great in my time using the s9 plus and if you buy one now you're getting one of the most specced out phones you can buy on planet earth okay guys so let me share with you my experience in the three months using it with the body the build and the design elements of this phone so of course when we talk about the galaxy s9 plus in design you know you're rocking out with one of the best most premium designs on any smartphone samsung is you know number one smartphone manufacturer in the world in terms of shipping out units so they're definitely got the dollars to make a beautiful premium clad device and they did it here with the s9 plus over the past couple of months it's been great and i really one thing i really like about the design of the s9 plus is this camera element i like how it's so flat and flush to the body it's not that much of an intrusion i really don't like super huge camera hunts another thing i like about the s9 plus is it has no notch on this display that's a great aspect of this design however i don't like the fact that we still have bezels on the phone the oppo find 10 kind of looks like the galaxy s9 plus but goes more all the way on the screen so this isn't you know it's definitely a part of the evolution of getting to all screen but you know this was very similar to the galaxy s8 plus but on the whole it's a very well refined beautiful design with a curved display now the body actually weighs around 189 grams and it's a little bit weighty even in comparison to the galaxy s8 plus but that gives it a more substantial feeling so it feels more premium than the galaxy s8 plus did but the glass on the back i do have to mention has scratched pretty easily now i'm not going to be able to show you this on camera because it's really hard for the camera lens to see these micro scratches but there's a bunch of little nicks in the glass on the bottom of my s9 plus again it's going to be hard to see it here and i had a hard time getting a screen protector that works with this phone i finally found one it's a wet install screen protector and uh you know i can get some cases on here but some still hit the screen protector when i do put it on so that's one thing i don't like about pretty much all the curved displays is that you know cases don't always work well with screen protectors on these curved smartphones and it's you know unless you get the white stone dome glass which not everybody wants to pay 50 dollars for a screen protector then you're gonna have some trouble i mean this is like my third one i paid like 30 bucks total uh still less than a white stone dome glass but you know i got a screen protector that finally works but it's just been a little bit of a nuisance getting one that actually works and under this display it's been scratched up so actually under that screen protector the reason i even have one on it is because how easily the glass was scratching on the front so s9 scratches rather easily on both back and front something i don't like about the body of this device but on the whole it definitely feels like what you're paying for it. and in my three months i've had no issues with that i do like the ergonomics of this body as well holding it in your hand just feels very comfortable especially if you got larger hands the plus will feel good but if this phone is a little bit too tall for you you got to try them both out in stores consider the smaller s9 it's got that same comfortable feeling but it's actually more comfortable than the s9 plus which is a little bit taller for people with smaller hands so that's my overall take with the body on the s9 plus so in my three months using it discussing the display again we talked about this earlier in the specifications department 
it's definitely probably the best display you can get on any smartphone. Now, if you go into the settings, one thing I always mention about these Samsung devices is the ability to tweak this however you want. You got AMOLED Cinema, AMOLED Photo, and Basic. I always like changing these depending on my lighting conditions. It's been you know great to do that. You can also tweak the reds, the greens, and the blues. And this display definitely doesn't air on a redder side like the you know Galaxy S8 Plus did of last year. Now, one thing I also like is the ability to change the resolution. I've been loving this for the S9 Plus. You can go to WQHD Plus, Full HD, or you can go all the way down to HD Plus. It saves you battery life, and sometimes you just want that sharper text. You go all the way to the top on this device. Now, it does come with that 1080 out of the box, so you do have to up the resolution if you want the best on the display. Now, best thing about this phone, though, is really just the vibrancy of the colors and watching media. So watching videos on this phone, that's really one of the best things about the Galaxy S9 Plus. And also, I would mention that reading text on here is ultra sharp. However, I do prefer the Galaxy Note 8's more flat display as the curved display can sometimes to me be a little bit of a distraction, just a slight one as I'm constantly like taking my eye over to the curve. So a flat display to me is a little bit more focused. Like if you're reading something, you're a little bit more focused, I think, on a flat display over a curved display as it's just it just draws your eye in to look at these curves on the device. So keep that in mind when you are deciding on the Galaxy S9 Plus. So quickly talking about software, this is not the video where I'm gonna go ahead and showcase you all the features. If you wanna see all the features with the software, go ahead and check out my full review of the Galaxy S9 Plus. Link is down below in the description area of this video. But, you know, Samsung Experience 9.0 really has brought the Galaxy S9 up a notch when it comes to its software. 8.0 Android helps a quite a bit, but the Samsung 9.0 experience, they've really cleaned up the skin in terms of its performance. And in three months time, really, there's no performance issues at all. They claim this is the fastest phone in the world on their website, uh, according to speed tests. But you know what? I haven't really noticed any slowdown in the software has been strong on this device. Now, I did have it crash in one video. I made a speed test where a game crashed, but that was a very rare occasion. And this is definitely a super fast, speedy Samsung. And the Samsung lag factor of back in the day, that's no, no longer here with the S9 series. And as a matter of fact, Samsung 9.0 experience has improved the Samsung experience across the board on all Samsung devices like the Note 8 as well. Further talking about the software, when it comes to the uh, AR emoji thing, I didn't really like that at all. I actually disabled it uh, from use. Well, not on this phone, on the smaller S9, but the AR emoji thing, I didn't really like it too much. It's kind of, you know, this is not well polished yet. So after the fun, you know, first few days you use this feature, it gets old rather quickly and uh, you probably won't use it too much after that. The slow-mo is kind of hard to capture those super slow-mo videos. So I don't find myself using that too much either, but I really like the low light capabilities of the camera in the software and the ability to do things like pop view has always been nice and this goes for all of the samsung's on the latest version doing pop view right here that's a pretty cool feature i love that and just all the extra add-ons has made this phone feel like a combined total package so right while a lot of people do like a cleaner software like a stock google you know pixel software having all of this here even though you might not use all of these features here is a, it's a great addition to the S9 Plus, and it really makes me feel like, you know, I have everything I can get in a smartphone with this device. So that's my take after three months with software. It's basically, you know, smooth, fast, and everything I feel like I could imagine I would want on software. That's how I feel about the S9 Plus. So the Galaxy S9 Plus in the battery department after three months has been a mixed bag for me. Here's why. Solid battery life that can get you through a full day. Not that hard to get through a full day with this phone. However, it's not leaving you super impressed considering the size of this thing, 3,500 milliamps. You're going to end the day with the Galaxy S9 Plus and definitely have to charge. You're not going to go two full days with this device unless you're the lightest of light users, which most people aren't, uh, especially people buying a phone with this much power. The Galaxy S8 Plus was actually a little bit better on battery life, and I'm not saying this is bad battery life, but what I'm trying to say is that I wish it was a little bit better than what you know it offered. I, I'm, I'm a little bit shocked that a newer, more optimized device 
has worse battery life. So maybe this can be fixed with an upcoming Android P update later this year. We'll see, but I, I really don't think so. So Samsung, I think, is going to go all out with the Note 8 with the 4,000 milliamp hour battery there. But for the S9 Plus, it's a one-day phone. And if you're a heavy user, you might have to top it up at around 7 p.m. on that fast charger. But having that fast charging capability is nice on you know any device. And having wireless charging is an added benefit to the S9 Plus. So the battery life to me has been a mixed bag. It's been good enough to get through a day, but a little bit disappointing that it's worse than last year's Galaxy S8 Plus, in my experience anyway. Okay, so moving on to the cameras. We know this is a dual camera variable aperture. It's it's marketed everywhere. We don't need to really talk too much about the specifications. I'm sure you know most of those. If you don't, you could check out my full review once again. But the software, like I've said in prior videos, it's a little bit sensitive. Like you can accidentally swipe over to the wrong thing. A lot of times with the Galaxy S9, you'll press the focus and it'll accidentally swipe over so they need to fix this up a little bit it's a little too sensitive on the whole but it has great features and great software as in very intuitive very easy to use it doesn't overwhelm the user too much uh, it's, unless you get into pro mode and you go into the settings and you start tweaking things then you might get a little bit overwhelmed but you have a ton of features including the ability to change so many resolutions I mean this phone has so many different ways of you know you know making your photo look so you got 18 by 5 9 16 by 9 four three one to one and uh just like more than any other phone in terms of the picture sizes the video size rear you can go up to uhd 60 but there is a limit on that uhd 60 it can only shoot for like 10 minutes or something like that so not the best there but having all these features like i said in my software section of this video just makes you feel like you're never left behind when it comes to the camera and also good thing the camera is a stellar performer no matter you know which mode you're in it always takes really good photos unless you mess up some pro settings but overall just stellar photos on the galaxy s9 plus some are saying the best camera on earth i think it definitely is matched up easily with the pixel 2 xl and the huawei p20 pro but i'm gonna stop talking about the cameras because i really want to show you some of these samples of this camera so go ahead and check these out and you can judge for yourself how great you think the galaxy s9 camera is <laughs> So discussing the audio portion of this video, having the speaker down here and up here and with the inclusion of the Dolby Atmos on this device has made this speaker my favorite of any smartphone to use. It's super loud. So let's go ahead and take a look at this camera review. And let me turn it down for the ad and then let's skip this. Very good, good detail here. Cover it up, you can still hear it. But you could just easily brighten that up. You can still hear it. And depending on who made the audio for the video, like I kind of lower it down sometimes so it doesn't blow your ears away on my YouTube videos. But like if you watch a music video or whatever, it would be just super loud here for the Galaxy S9 Plus. So let's go to the beginning where my intro is. You can kind of see what I'm saying. So you can see just how loud that is. I mean, it's a very loud speaker and the fact that you don't have a mono speaker at the bottom anymore is just great for the Galaxy S9 Plus. Add to that a headphone jack, which I still find myself getting a little bit annoyed that I always have to connect Bluetooth headphones to devices that don't have a headphone jack. This is a stellar, you know, audio experience phone. This is probably second in line of the latest devices, you know, that you can buy right now, the most current, I would say, in terms of, you know, the flexibility of having a headphone jack and a great external audio speaker. Okay, guys, so let's talk about the gaming aspects of this phone. One of the fastest to load games on any Android device you can buy. And because you have the louder speakers, it makes it more entertaining to listen to the sounds that are in most games. Like that really loud speaker right there. 
Also, having this huge Super AMOLED display makes it a very enjoyable experience. So for those of you gamers out there, and you have expandable storage here, so that helps even more if you don't want to use up all your storage, like with photos, and then you want to just use up your storage for games, this can be a great device as well. In addition to that, Samsung now has a 256 gigabyte version of this phone. So to me, this has definitely got to be in your top list of phones to game with of any Android smartphone you could buy. This is definitely probably number one for me. So if I was gonna play games, I'd buy the Galaxy S9 Plus. In my three months using it, almost every game has performed phenomenal, except for that one speed test I did where it crashed a little bit. And for those of you following the channel for a long time, you know what video I'm talking about. Mentioning the call quality on the Galaxy S9 Plus, it's been great. I mean, the speakers are so loud, like I've been talking about with the audio, that it makes the speaker phone calling experience great. Now, also, the signal strength has has been stronger for some reason in this device than some of my prior Samsung phones. The S8 Plus and this are rather similar, but the S7 and S7 Edge before it, this definitely has a huge update over those. So in terms of call quality, I like this more than, you know, S7, S7 Edge, S8, Note 8, those are about the same in the call quality department. But having these dual speakers is the real benefit here. In addition to that, Samsung including in the box, those headphones that have a microphone on them, that's a great addition as well well you don't have to go buy some extra headphones to you know plug in to talk on the phone so talking on the phone on this phone no dropped calls nobody saying they can't hear me it's a good experience here so keep that in mind if you're buying this for a phone for a phone well not everybody is but if you are it's great okay so we have arrived at the final conclusion of this video but before i give you that i want to discuss just a few things i don't like about the Galaxy S9 Plus because I think it gets so much praise and nobody looks at the aspects that aren't great about them. And these are not really nitpicking, these are things that I really didn't like. So the Galaxy S9 Plus scratches too easy. The rear casing on the glass, it scuffs up easy as does the display. That's why I have a screen protector on it in the first place because it's scratched in a many places. Like You can't see it on video, but I showed you in a, a prior video about this. But this phone right here scratched easier than any flagship I've bought this year, which I don't like. Uh, next up is the display and screen protectors. This goes for the S8 Plus as well and any curved display. These screen protectors rub up against cases and I'm a case person. So if you're a case person, you're going to have a little bit of a headache when it comes to the screen protector, unless you get it professionally installed or you get one that doesn't rub up against cases, which is kind of hard to find. It took me three to find one that actually works here or, or unless you want to buy the top top of the line screen protector that uh, most people are recommending. You know which one I'm talking about. Not everybody wants to buy a $50 screen protector. Next up is if you do have that issue, I would just recommend getting a skin and a screen protector for this phone. If you want to get a cheaper screen protector, just get a skin because most cases will rub up against it. Next up is the fact that it's so similar to the Galaxy S8 Plus that if you were a Samsung fan using an S8 Plus and you wanted to upgrade, I would say hold off because the S10 that's going to come out later next year is definitely going to be a huge upgrade over this. So this one is for the people who are on the S7, S7 Edge who decided to skip out on the S8 series. It would be a great, fantastic update from those. But even then, those phones are still really good. They just got Oreo. You could even hold off to the S10. So this one's a little bit of a hard sell for more current Samsung phone users but those are the things i didn't like there's just a few but i didn't like those things about this device so in my final conclusion is the galaxy s9 plus the best phone in the world after three months and i would say probably yeah because of its total package i can deal with a couple of scratches i didn't like that but i could deal with you know a couple of scratches because everything this phone offers is like everything that is missing in some other phones so you have like the iphone 10 but it doesn't have expandable storage you have like the huawei p20 pro it doesn't have a 2k display here you have the you know galaxy note 8 doesn't have a great low uh, it does have a good low light camera but not a great low light camera like the galaxy s9 plus and has a weird fingerprint location versus this one this is a combination of a lot of the best attributes of many smartphones with a unique non-notch design on the front and in the past three months using it i do think it's the overall best phone you can buy right now it does have a couple of quirks like the not so great battery life but if you're looking for a phone that does everything in one you want the galaxy s9 plus still as of the recording of this video in july 2018 if you found this video helpful enjoyable entertaining informing do me a favor click that like button for me and if you're new here consider subscribing for more nick here helping you to master your technology thank you very much for watching